when you are trying to add security to your AI agents, are you seeing empty role list? Maybe you are receiving error messages when you published your AI agent changes. Or the dreaded message, assistant not available. What's common in these three issues? Yes, you are right. These all point to one thing that is missing security. Hey, I am Siva Koya, an Oracle Ace and Certified AI Agent Studio Professional. In my last episode, I showed you how to build AI agent from scratch. If you missed it, it's a great warm up. Please check it out. I will drop the link in the description below. Think of today's episode as a pre sequel to my last episode. Before the build, you need the basics. What security you need to configure AI agents? What security end users need to access them? And how to set the security step by step? I will cover these three topics in this hands on tutorial. If you are ready, let's get started. Let's start with the basics of AI agent security in Oracle Fusion. To control who can see or use an AI agent, Oracle introduced permission groups. Think of a permission group as a ready-made pack of security policies designed to control access to AI agents specific for each module like HCM, procurement or finance. Good news is Oracle already delivered these permission groups out of the box for each module. All you need to do is add these permission groups to your existing or new roles and give that roles to users. That's it. So based on the permission group, users either configure AI agents or run them as an end user. By default, permission groups are hidden. That's on purpose. Many companies need approvals before turning on AI features. Until you enable permission groups, you cannot grant access to AI agents through security console. Let me show you how to enable permission groups and tie them to a role and get your users talking to AI agents. Let's do that step by step. I logged into my Fusion application as a user with superpowers that is having IT security manager role, but still I cannot modify AI agents. That's because my profile isn't tied to the specific permission groups that allows me to configure AI agents. Before we can add permission groups, first we need to enable them. Let's start with that. To enable permission groups, click on your profile in the top right. Then click on setup and maintenance. After that, click on global task list and do a global search. Now do a search for manage administrator profile values. I will now navigate to the task from the search results. And now search for the profile code ORA underscore AIC underscore SAS underscore integration underscore enabled. When I search, the profile value defaults to no. Even though the label of our profile code doesn't say permission groups, but this setting controls whether permission groups should appear or not when we create a new role. Let me show you. With profile value set to no, I will open security console. Under roles, I will click on create role button. On the first page, there is no permission groups option. Now I will go back and change the profile value to yes. And we will try to create the role again. Then you will see an option to enable permission groups. Let me update the profile option. As I said, enable permission groups option is now visible. Once you fill the first few fields, this button will become active. Now let's create a custom role that lets end users run AI agents. I will click on this button to enable permission groups for our role. Now I will click on enable permission groups to enable permission groups. 
as you can see permission groups are now enabled for this role now i'll click next click on this button to add function security policy that allows end users to chat with ai agents i will click next next until i reach role hierarchy here you will notice a new tab enabled by our profile option that lets us add permission groups i will click on this tab and add the out of box role from oracle that lets end users run ai agents now i will create a new user and assign the custom role that we just created plus the basic employee role here we go this is the new user account that i created i added the custom role that we just created and also included basic employee profile before we log in as this user we need to run a couple of mandatory security jobs to finalize access to our user i'll go ahead and do that since now all the security setup is complete it's time to log in as our user after logging in as employee if i navigate to tools i don't see ai agent studio this user doesn't have access to configure ai agents this user can talk to ai agents through this ai chat tile he can select a specific agent by clicking on explore This user also can search for a specific AI agent. This is the AI agent that we created in the last episode. Remember, we granted this AI agent access to all employees. Keep in mind all employees can see this AI agent, but they won't get answers until we assign the special role we created today. I will click on the AI agent to talk to AI agent and I can ask a question. There you go here is the response from our AI agent All right now we are moving on to the next part of my demo I'm going to create another custom role just like before but this time I will pick only specific permission groups that we need to access and modify HCM AI agents Since you know the drill I will not give you any voice over instructions let's get started just like before i created a new user and assigned two roles our custom hcm ai agent developer role that we just created and the employee role the next step for you is to run the mandatory security jobs just like how we did for our first user to put it all together for this user now i will log in as this user if i navigate to tools You can now see this user now got access to AI Agent Studio. Click on it. If you take a look closely, this user only got access to HCM specific AI agents. Now I will navigate to Agent Teams and search for the AI agent that we created in our last episode. He can now access that. Not only access, he can even modify this HCM AI agent configuration. That's it for today folks. Today you learned how to enable and control security for AI agents. 
Even though I demoed this specific to HCM module, the same steps apply for other modules. If you need a super user that should have access to all AI agents across the modules, just assign the relevant custom roles to one single person and he will have access to all AI agents. If today's content was helpful to you, don't forget to support me by hitting that like button and subscribe for more interesting videos. See you in my next one.